Welcome back to Cradle to Grave R. My name is Mark Gingrass. Today, I'm going to talk to you about how to use the Windows Task Scheduler to actually schedule your R script to run on a cadence every hour, every minute, every week, however you want to do it. So why do we want to do something like this? Well, reality hits us. We get an email every day from the boss with a bunch of data. And every single day, you're dragging that data to some folder, doing some sort of um, analysis on it, create the plot, and you send it back. Now, granted, you can automate some of this with VBA and say, hey, when this attachment comes in, pull it over to this folder, do all these things. But that's beyond the scope of what we're about to do. Um, sorry that reality hits and you can't just get a direct line, a direct pipeline to that data. So it turns out that a lot of people still have to drag and drop the data, update it daily. Well, we're gonna make that headache just a little bit easier today by automating the actual R script itself. So, so long story short, let's jump right into it. Right, what I have here is a blank, uh, brand new project called Windows Task Scheduler. And what you wanna do is create a um, project and then do a new R script. So Control Shift N or File New R Script. And we can just call this whatever we want. Do Control S and save it. I'm gonna call it um, my underscore script, and it's gonna be a .r file, because it's an R script. So save that. Now, what I have here is I've got a fake data CSV file. Now, you can imagine having an Excel file or some other file, even an access database file for all I care. Now, every day you're dragging and dropping this to uh, this folder and you're replacing the data with the new data, because the scenario is, you replace the data, you create the plot, you email the plot to your boss. In fact, there's some email packages for R that can actually automate some of that as well. All right, so the fake data, let's take a quick look at it. All it is is just an X and a Y, and it's got some fake data in here. So imagine that gets updated daily, right? So those are the numbers for yesterday, and you want to create a plot, et cetera, et cetera. So it's called fake data. Let's go ahead and dive right in with a quick example. So I'm going to do library ggplot2. I'll uh, zoom in on this. And ggplot2 so we can get a quick graph, and we'll just create uh, my data is equal to, again, I'm gonna do read.csv, and then in quotes, I, if I hit tab, it should open up my directory structure under the project, and it's called fake data.csv, right? And I know that I have headers, so I'm gonna say header equals true, and I'm gonna do command enter on that, but what you'll notice, sadly, which I'm not sure why, I haven't looked it up yet, but if I click on, see up here, if I click on my data that just got imported, you'll see that the X and the Y header didn't quite line up. Like for some reason that X is a weird weird character, dot, 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 X. We don't want that, so let's fix that. And just to prove to you what that is, let's run down here and just do names of my data, and you'll see the X turned into some weird funky thing. I don't want that, so let's just fix that. So we'll do column names, and it's an accessor method, basically. I'm gonna access the column names of my data, and I'm gonna rename them. I'm gonna just rename them x, comma, y, and that will give us just a little bit easier aesthetic on the eye. So run that again, x and y, so now it's corrected. No big deal. Let's create a quick plot. So I've got ggplot, we'll just do um, ggplot, and my data will bring in and my aesthetic is gonna be x is equal to x, and y is equal to y, and of course, my easiest geometry to add is geom point, boom. If I run that, you should get an error because I didn't put the a on the end of my data. So now if I run that, after I get out of the way, we get a plot. So there's the plot, that's what it's gonna do. Now, that's not doing much yet, so let's save that plot as an object. I'll say my daily plot is equal to that ggplot, so run that, and now we'll just save it actually into our file system. So we'll say gg save, and we'll just put in my daily plot, comma, file name is equal to my daily plot.png is pretty safe. Uh, so I'm going to run that, and you'll see after I run that, if I go to my folder structure here, I will have a my daily plot PNG file. If I open that up, here it is. It's saved every day. Now this is just a 
a hypothetical example scenario. Obviously, you're going to have more complicated and uh, better charts than this, but um, you still have to manually drag this thing over to an Outlook or an email and send it every day. So that's another thing that you might think about automating next. All right, but we're going to talk about scheduling this. Now, when we do anything with the scheduler or anything with the command prompt, for right now, I think it's best to put in the complete absolute paths. So let's go ahead and do that. So when I said read.csv fake data, it knew to look in my project folder. But if I'm not opening up my project and running it through RStudio, the command prompt doesn't know that. So let's give it really explicit directions on where things are at. So I'm going to open up um, where this fake data is, and I'm going to do shift, right click, and do save or copy as path. So copy as path. And you only get that option if you hold shift when you right click. So then I'm going to just go ahead and paste it in. It already has quotes, actually, but I'll paste it right in here. I don't need the fake data anymore because it's already there. So just clean it up a bit, get rid of the quote, the double quote here that I accidentally have. So we just want a single quote. Now backslashes are escape characters, so we have to add a backslash backslash. Now this is a little painful the first time. Uh, again, we will build upon this and create things that are much easier uh, later. So we have that full path. That's fine. Let's see if that works actually. Let's go ahead and you can delete all of the data if you'd like. Uh, I'm going to just click on this little broom here. Gone. I'm going to rerun my data. Boom. Six observations of two variables. So I'm going to rerun uh, everything down to GG save. Now, again, it, it GG save only knows to save it in this project path because uh, it's in the RStudio environment. We're not opening up RStudio to run anything. We're going to be running the R script. So we need to put the entire path on here again. So I'm just going to copy this path up here all the way to fake data. And we will put it down here. So I hope you understand the importance of why I'm doing it this way. OK, so that should work. Uh, let me make it so you could probably see the whole thing. I'm going to run it now. And it should still be there. In fact, if I come over here and delete my daily plot, come back. Let's run the whole thing again. Control A, Control Enter, boom. Go back. We have my daily plot again, right? So, all right, we've got it all set. It's good. The R script works as we want it. So I'm going to save that. It's called my underscore script. Let's not forget that. Now, what we want to do is go to the task scheduler. So, in fact, I already have it open. Let me close it. We want to go to the task scheduler. So click on start menu and type in task space S, and you'll see it pop up. Go ahead and open that up. We're going to do action, create task, create task here. And then we're going to give it a name. We'll just say my daily plot for boss, whatever you want to call it. You might have tons of these. And you can have the option to run it only when you're logged in or any time that the computer's on, but you happen to be logged off, it can still run. I'm going to keep it the way it is. Feel free to experiment. Uh, let's go to triggers next. And then we want to click on new. We want to say what? When does this happen? I'm going to say one time. Now it's 4:47 now on my clock. Uh, I need to give this a couple minutes, so let's just do um, let's just do 4:50 to be safe. I'm going to do 4:50. Now, of course, you can run this daily, weekly, etc. So I've got a couple minutes to make this happen. All right. So I'm going to hit OK. I'm only going to do it one time. That's my trigger. You can set yours the way you like. Click on actions. Go to new. And now you'll see that I have a, what's my action? Start a program. I want to start a program, and that program is going to be the R script program itself. So click on this little folder if you have it down here. If not, you know how to get to your file explorer. Let's go to this PC, C drive. Most likely 99.9% .9 chance you're running off the C drive. So C drive, program files, and then um, go down to R, R whatever version you have bin for binary, a binary executable file. And then I have this thing called rscript.exe. So let's go ahead and shift right click on the rscript and do copy as path. Okay, let's go back to the scheduler. And now we say, hey, what program do we want? I'm going to do control V. I want to run the rscript script or the rscript executable file, the binary file. Now what are my arguments? Add arguments optional. I do want to add arguments. I want to say, what do I want to run? I want to run. Now I believe the space will be put in there for us, but I want to run my R script. So let's go back to our project, which for me was under documents. 
Windows Task Scheduler. And you could see here I have, uh, well, I'm going to delete my daily plot just because I don't need it anymore. And then I have this thing called my script underscore R. Shift, right click, go to copy as path, and come back here. And so for my arguments, I'm just going to paste that in there. Right? And then I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to hit OK again. So those are the steps. I'm going to close Windows Task Scheduler out completely. Now, let's draw your attention to here. I like to view this as details, honestly, more than anything. So what you see here is I don't have my plot anymore. So we're just going to sit here and wait for 450 to occur. And then it's going to trigger that R script executable file to go reach out and grab my underscore script.r and run that script. And when it runs that script, because it doesn't, it's not using our studio, it's using the R itself, the R executable, um, the language. And, and when that happens, it doesn't know there's a project directory or this or that. So, so that's why we were very explicit about where these are located. There it is. And it looks like we have the plot. So my daily plot. Did you guys see that? Um, so that's it. It worked. Put it on a cadence. Do whatever you want. Now, there are plenty more things to automate on this. You know that there's a, a package for that. You know, there's a package to say, okay, now that I have a, a, a file, I can move that file. You can move files with R. You can attach files to emails and automate sending emails with R. You can do all those things. So I hope this helps you begin your automation path. And I'm sorry that you don't have a direct connection to the data that you want live. So as long as you keep getting those emails from some business unit out there or some management or some leader or some boss, then you'll have to use something like this to uh, have that work around. Now, it's not the best solution, but it'll definitely get you on the right path. And thank you all for joining the uh, Discord channel. Thanks for subscribing and thanks for sharing these videos. I meant to say that at the beginning, but oh well, I'll say it now. So please, again, uh, subscribe, share, like. Most importantly, throw this on Twitter, throw this on social media, Facebook, everything you can. Please help me out, and I will see you guys in the next one.